Okay, today we are going to enable a vCenter HA. Um, I have two vCenters here. Uh, the first one here I'm going to call uh, my, uh, my management vCenter, and it's called a VCSA-8X. So that's my management vCenter. Um, in it, I went ahead and I deployed another vCenter called VCSA01. And right here, you can take a look at VCSA01. There's nothing in here, just a bunch of nothing. Uh, I've created a data center in a cluster. Um, there's no compute, no nothing else in here. But we're going to go ahead and navigate over here to VCSA01. We're going to go to configure. We're going to go to configure vCenter HA. And it gives you a little bit of... Uh, heads up in here about what you're going to need. Uh, the main thing to notice each one of these devices is going to get um, two uh, NICs. Each one's gonna get a port group. Uh, NIC zero is gonna be sort of your public facing um, NIC. Uh, NIC one is going to tie to your uh, your HA network. So if I come back over here to my uh, management v center and click on uh, networking, I'll show you what I've got here real quick. Um, the main uh, network um, for, like, let's say the public facing network is called VMs. And then I also created a port group here. Um, it's called vCenter HA. So, with that in mind, we will come back over here and we will go ahead and click on set up vCenter HA. Uh, first thing I want to know is how do I get to um, the management vCenter? So, let's go ahead and put in some information here. And this is just uh, some lab space that I've got available to me. Um, it's pretty handy. Um, just supplying a uh, management vCenter uh, you know, username and password to get in. Of course, in true VMware fashion, we're going to go ahead and verify our certificates. Is this the thumbprint you're expecting? Yes. Um, so it wants to know, hey, uh, for your active node, what is going to be your HA network? So I'm going to go ahead and click Browse here, and I'm going to choose my vCenter HA network. Okay, and if we take a look here, um, on our active node, which is the only node that we have set up currently, uh, we've got um, our networks, our VMs, and your vCenter HA. These are our two port groups, and we've got an IP address out here. Everything's great. Come down here to our passive node um, is what the process is going to do. It's actually going to clone our active node twice. Uh, once it's going to uh, create uh, VCSA01, which is uh, the name of our vCenter. It's going to add a dash passive on it. And then it's also going to do the same thing again, uh, VCSA01, and uh, add a dash uh, witness on it. But we have to come in here and answer some questions on each one of these. So I'm going to click edit here. Um, name's good for me. Where are we going to put this? We're going to put it in our management folder. Go ahead and say next. Compute. This is important when you enable vCenter HA. Uh, the cluster that it is in must have at least three uh, ESX hosts. In. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just choose one of these at random. Say next. The data store I'm going to use, I'm just going to pick the one that's got the most uh, available, 382 gigs. Say next. Uh, now we have to give it NICs, right? Um, so our NIC zero was uh, called uh, VMs. In this case, choose that. And then our HA network. I'm going to go ahead and browse here again, and it is vCenter HA. So, okay. So next. And um, there we go. Go ahead and say finish. So that one's complete. And then finally for our passive our, our witness node, which is down here on the bottom, we'll do the same thing. Say edit. Um, witness is fine. We can put this, we're gonna put it in our management folder. Say next. Our compute. Um, so we're out here. Pick another uh, data store. Well, we only need about 13 gigs, so it doesn't really matter which one we choose. Choose that guy. Um, on the witness, it does not need a public facing uh, NIC. So we're just gonna go ahead and choose our, uh, our HA network. So we'll browse again and there's our HA network. Say, okay, next. 
and then we'll go ahead and click finish. Okay, at this point right here, we've answered questions for all three nodes. Um, so we've got our active node, completed our information. We've got our passive node, completed all the information here. And we've got our witness node, which um, if that's been completed as well. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna say next, this is gonna take us down to uh, IP settings for each one of these guys. So everything that we did in the previous screen, this was all about uh, just setting up the hardware. And um, so the NIC here for our HA network is gonna be 192.168.100. Uh, and I'm just gonna call it 101, 24-bit. Uh, uh, there is no default gateway on this. It's just a uh, open network. So come down here to the next one. Uh, 192.168.100.102. Four bit. And then finally, uh, the third one here, 192.168.100.103. It's a 24 bit as well. To answer all that, we'll go ahead and say finish. And this is going to take some time. Um, down here in our recent task, uh, you'll see that we've got, uh, it's deploying the HA. And if we come back up here to our management vCenter mm -hmm. up here, um, it's gone out and it's reconfigured our first device, had to add the second uh, NIC to it. And you'll see that it'll step through here and it'll start uh, deploying um, VCSA01-passive, there it just popped up. And then we'll get a vcsa uh witness uh, as it gets there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause here because uh, my lab's sort of slow. It's gonna take uh, probably an hour or so just to deploy uh, both of these, um, just a slow lab, but uh, thank you.